everyone. Welcome inside our Campus Insider Studios. I am Shea Pepler, and today we're talking Seth Green. No, not the actor, but the four-star quarterback recruit out of Minnesota. He was hanging out at the Michigan State-Oregon game over the weekend. So to discuss Seth Green and other top recruitment stories, we welcome in Alan True, recruiting analyst for Scout.com. And Alan, as I mentioned, quarterback Seth Green was at that Oregon game. I know you spoke to him and his family. How was his visit in Eugene? Well, it was hard to have any recruit say it was a bad visit to Eugene. Uh, Oregon always impresses with their facilities and their game day atmosphere, and then you get a win like that. And his dad and him really noted uh, the speed that they saw on offense. They said they're so much faster in person. Seth is a dual threat kind of guy who can do some things outside of the pocket, so I think they were impressed with what Marcus Mariota did for the Ducks. And I, I think the visit went a long way to competing with some of the Midwest programs for Seth. I think Oregon's very much in his plans. And he actually, they actually said Oregon is going to definitely be one of their leaders going through this recruiting process. Interesting. Well, the other big victory over the weekend came from the Fighting Irish. How did the win over Michigan impact Notre Dame's recruiting? Well, they had a lot of kids there that were considering both Notre Dame and Michigan. I don't necessarily think one game can always stem the tide, but the recruits were very, very impressed. Ben Bredesen, uh, the top junior in the Midwest who has offers from both schools, said it really helped Notre Dame out. Once again, night game type atmosphere, and then you put on a win like that. Uh, it was hard for any recruit to walk out of there not impressed with both the campus and the stadium and then obviously the product on the field. Of course. Well, let's focus in on Michigan and the Big Ten now specifically. Let's talk Nittany Lions, though. The NCAA has restored Penn State's bowl eligibility. Alan, have you talked to any recruits, and how do you foresee this affecting recruitment going forward? So we haven't had a chance to get on the horn with too many recruits yet, but Penn State's recruiting really uh, can't almost can't get any better. So this can only help them. But they're recruiting so well, even in the face of some of those penalties. That this can really only help James Franklin and company. They're excellent recruiters as it, as it is. And the few recruits, and there are only a few, that where these penalties had affected them recruiting wise. I think that's going to go away, and they're going to continue to recruit at a high level. I would expect Penn State to continue to compete for top ten, top five national type recruiting classes. Staying in the conference, Alan, we talked about the two powerhouses that beat Big Ten teams, but what about the Big Ten overall? In addition to MSU and Michigan going down, Ohio State lost, Purdue lost, Northwestern lost. Is the Big Ten recruiting the right type of players? You know, I, I think that they are. I don't necessarily think recruiting is the problem. If you look at the teams they lost to, Notre Dame and Michigan, they recruit a lot of the same kids. A lot of the kids on Michigan's team could have gone to Notre Dame and vice versa. Uh, you look at some of the other losses, Northwestern losing to Northern Illinois. They're recruiting from the same base there in the state of Illinois. Uh, obviously, not a lot of kids turn down Northwestern to go to Northern Illinois. Same thing with Ohio State and Virginia Tech. Ohio State pretty much gets their pick of the litter as far as recruits go. So I don't necessarily think recruiting is the problem on the field, but obviously the conference is going to have to pick it up if they're going to continue to recruit at a high level. Of course. Alan True, thanks so much for the insight as always. Absolutely. Thank you, Shane. Well, be sure to keep it locked right here on Campus Insiders for the feed where we discuss what is trending in college sports. That is me, yours truly, that hosts that. We'll see you all next time. Thank you.